The San Wild Sanctuary and Reserve has an incredible story to tell. Initially, a small plot of land leased by environmental activist Louise Joubert. This project has undergone a remarkable journey to become the inspiring conservation area that it is today. I had the privilege of sitting with Chairman and Managing Director Didi Skuma, who shared the story of San Wild and shed light on its future endeavours. So Sandwald has an incredibly rich and interesting history. It was founded in 1998 by the late Louise Hubert. She realized that people just generally didn't care about orphaned animals. And so she started taking these animals in. And it's quite phenomenal what she's achieved over the years. Building this 3,000 hectare sanctuary takes a lot of guts and a lot of will. Louise always intended Sandwald to be a home for rescued animals, a place where they can live wild and free. The thing with rescued animals is they cannot always be released into wilderness areas because of the human element. Once an animal has had human contact and has been looked after by humans and sometimes hand reared by humans, you can't release them into a wilderness area because they have lost their fear for humans. And so it's important for anybody that visits Sandwald to realize they're not going to come here and play with you know, baby orphan animals. That's just something we can't do because our aim is absolutely to reintroduce those animals back into the wild and so it's critical not to have them get human imprinted. be on the ground with us and learn about the industry. What is real, what's not real, what is right, what's not right, what is ethical and what's unethical. So become part of our family, you become an ambassador for conservation and that's really what we're trying to achieve. And I think the adventure part of it, living the lives that we do, being out in the field, not everybody gets to do this and it's a privilege. It might be poachers that come in, it might be an animal that's trapped in a snare, it might be a game reserve in the area phoning us that they have an orphan that needs to be rescued. You never know what the day holds. So Sandwald is uh, linked into all the neighboring game reserves and game farms, etc. Uh, so when they have missions or animal rescues or if they're working with wildlife, we get to participate in that. And a lot of time, the orphan animals come to us. It's just a way that we support each other. The main idea is to go out in the felt and basically experience wildlife rescues for yourself. But at the same time, give back to conservation by doing research. Do things on the ground that has a meaningful impact when it comes to designing conservation structures for the future. Our goal is ultimately to one day set up a wildlife training hospital. This needs to become a base from where everybody can operate and so that's where we're focusing on build a gene pool reserve uh, that we can have set aside so that if there's some disease that breaks out, we've got gene pool genetics that could be used. Prevent inbreeding, South Africa is quite interesting. Our game reserves are all fenced in. That means that animals don't have free movement and so we do gene exchange, but you can do the same with genetic exchanges. All of these things become extremely important for conservation going forward into the future. So that's the viable and important things that we do that's tangible and that makes a difference on the ground. You could put yourself back in, in cowboy days, cowboys and crooks, it's, it's that kind of experience that you have. Um, and there's not many places that can offer you that. We really need you because we need your hands, we need your feet and we need your mind out in the field. Everything that you do over here goes back into nature conservation.